Good morning, welcome to Grange Junior School. This is our Monday lesson for maths, and it's lesson one. So today we're looking at arrays and number lines. So hopefully on Google Classroom, you've downloaded our sheets and you can edit them online. And if you're having trouble with Google Classroom, use Grange Junior School website, go to pupils, year three, and you can download the documents there. If you just put them up on the screen, you can just work on a normal piece of paper and then take a picture of that piece of paper and send it to your class teacher so we can give you feedback and make sure everyone's making progress during the lockdown. Right, so we're going to start off with arrays and number lines. So I'm going to write up a simple calculation and we're going to talk our way through it. Okay, so if I write up, I've got three times three. Okay, nice easy one to start with. We've got three times three or three lots of three. So the first number tells us how many things we should have in our column. So we've got three, so we go one, three. Okay, and then the next number tells us how many objects should be in our rows. So we've got three lots of three so we can see two three and then we fill in the rest of the array now we know that this calculation shows us three one two three times three one two three and then to work out the answer we just count all of the objects in the array so we just go two four six seven eight nine so we know that three lots of three equals nine Okay, we've got three objects in our column going down and three going across like this. And then if we were to use a number line to solve this calculation or just to show that we know we're doing it right, we draw a number line. We start with zero and then we want three jumps of three. So we go one jump, zero and three is three. And then the next jump is three. Now, if you're not very if you're not very confident in counting in threes, you could always count in ones and do it like this and skip count. So you've got three, four, five, six. Next jump, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can see three times three equals nine. And that's how we could do it. So for your first questions are mild, you're looking to draw the array and match it to another one. That would be fantastic if you could. Next, if we look at a slightly trickier calculation, if we do something like um, six lots of four, we've got six. So we know we're going to have six in our column going down. So we draw one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we know we're going to have four in each row. So go one, two, three, four, and then we fill in the rest of our array. Okay, then to find our answer, we'd go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And we can see that six lots of four equals 24. Now we can also do that on a number line as well. So we want six jumps of four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Start with a zero. And we know we've got four in each one of those. Now, again, we can use skip counting to work out the answer for this. If you're not very confident in counting in fours, which is a little bit tricky, we can do it in a different way and use our twos. So we go zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we can see six times four equals 24. Okay, so we've used an array and a number line. We've got groups of six and rows of four. Okay, now every single calculation, as you know, has a family of four. So we can already see that this is six times four, but there's another multiplication there. If we were to turn this array onto its side, it would show us four times six equals 24. And then building on our work on division, 
the last couple of weeks ago, we can reverse that round and use the inverse. So we know that 24 divided by 4, so we want groups of 4, or dividing into 4. So we know we've got one group, two groups, three groups, four groups. And inside each one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know 24 shared into four equal groups equals six. And then if we wanted to look at the other one, we could do 24 divided by six. So we're showing them six. So we want six equal groups. We've got one equal group, two equal groups, three equal groups, four equal groups, five equal groups. Six equal groups, one, two, three, four. There's four in each group. So we can see 24 divided by six equals four. Now, if you really want to show off today on your worksheet, if you want to show us the family of four, a number line and an array, that would be spectacular, well done. Okay, and if not, using Google Classroom is a little bit difficult because you can't actually draw the arrays to show us, so you're just gonna to have to put the answers. All right, so have a go at these sheets. Let us know how you get on. Hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, and I will see you again tomorrow. All right, thank you. Bye bye.